Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 15th. So we're just going to see what comes up. This is just a daily preview of what might happen. Timing is fluid, so let's just see what happens. We're going to get one of these, and we're going to use this deck right here. This reading is not sign specific. That means it just it may it may be for you or it may not be. What do we have for the 15th of July, 2019, or thereabouts? You should be watching this on YouTube channel Soul Source Tarot. Ooh, somebody's taking a journey. Somebody's leaving the bullshit behind. I mean, what more can I say? It's pretty clear. We got somebody crossing that bridge. It doesn't look like they're taking very much with them. So yeah, somebody is taking a new journey. The long journey home. I don't know where that's coming from, but you know, that could be the case. And home may be away from wherever you're at right now, right? Home may be the town that you grew up in. It may, who knows, wherever home is to you. If you're living in a place and it doesn't feel like home, then it's not home. So it looks like we have somebody here that is going somewhere mmm the fool reversed scared too this person is kind of scared <laughs> but this is taking that journey you could you know the numbers don't match up but it's this you know very similar so it looks like we have somebody that is deciding you know to go their own way or going somewhere doesn't matter what anybody says. Definitely scared, but I think they're, they're obviously going to do it. Ten of Swords. The end. The end of suffering. It is. I mean, that's what that is. It's the end of suffering. It's been painful. It's been hurtful. It's been dark. Ooh. Queen of Wands reversed. No desire, no ambition, no drive. <laughs> no need. No need. I mean, this, there's no energy for it. Somebody's been depleted. Oh my God. I guess somebody has been fucking depleted. Excuse my language. Four of Swords. Absolutely somebody has been depleted. This is a death. Uh, I mean, I don't know if it's an actual death, but sure to hell looks like one. So, um, this, this is a... It's been, it's been rough. It has absolutely been rough. There's been a lot of pain. There's been a lot of suffering. And this is the end. It's the end. Okay. It is the end. It's the end of suffering. They have been depleted. They've reached the end. It's like, there's no life left here. And that's why they're going home. That's funny that I said that. I mean, it's not funny, but there's no life left here. Well, I guess we'll take that one since it didn't didn't come up. I picked up the deck and that one just wouldn't come. I don't know if that's upright or reversed. I'd say that. There we go. Oh, hangman. I'd say it was upright. Um, let me just bring this back. 
been stuck. Somebody's been sacrificing themselves, resisting change. Oh, time to let go. It's time to let go. It is time to let go, even though it's freaking scary, right? It is scary. Somebody's afraid. They are definitely afraid, but they know that it's time. Nine of Swords. Oh, my God. Yeah, it has been painful. It's been stressful. It's been depressing. There's sadness. There's regrets. Seven of Wands and uh, Queen of Cups reversed. Got to do what's right for me. I got to protect myself. I got to defend myself. I got to do what's right for me. That's what we got here. I can't, I can't, I'm, I can't, I'm not sleeping. I'm uncomfortable. This hurts. I feel empty. I feel lost. This isn't home anymore. I'm sorry, but that's what I feel. Queen of Wands with the Queen of Cups. There could be you know, both together. There could be two people that, you know, that are going to be very, very affected by this, whatever it is. There could have been another person that got involved with a situation. There's, that could be the end. Could it be the end of a third-party situation for some of you? I mean, it could be. This is the end of something. The Queen of Cups. There's, there's not, a, there's not any desire, but there's no love either. There's no emotional fulfillment. It's intense. It's emotional. It's draining. Somebody is literally drained. Mm. It's like I, I gotta do what's I gotta do. I gotta do what's right for me. So um, nine of cups. Nine of cups. This is wish fulfillment, right? Wish fulfillment. Some some you know. I want to have it all. It's a challenge, though. Sideways is a challenge. When a card comes out sideways, means it's a challenge. To me, I don't care what anybody else has to say. To me, that's what it means. So we got wish fulfillment is a challenge here. My, I'm gonna have to face this challenge to be happy. There's so many options. There's so many options. Ace of Cups reversed. <laughs> and this isn't it. This does not lead to the Ten of Cups. This leads to the Eight of Cups. Somebody is leaving. Nine of Cups minus one cup equals Eight of Cups. Somebody is leaving. It's not emotionally fulfilling. They're not happy. <laughs> and they're taking that, that high road. And I have the goosebumps. We could be dealing with a Pisces. We could be dealing with a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Aries up there again. Either way, this is a dead end. This is the this is a dead end. Okay, it is. And I want to live again. I want happiness. I want to have it all. And this just isn't enough. It's just not enough. It does it doesn't give me the ten of cups. Yeah, it looks real good and it feels real good, but it's not everything. It's not. It, it doesn't even feel that good. It doesn't because it's so fucking painful. Maybe it felt good for a minute. I don't know. But. Maybe it lasted for 10 years. It may have lasted for 10 years. It may have lasted for 9 years. Things have been stressful, painful, for 9, or nine to 10 years here. So anyway, I feel like we have somebody here that is seeing things from a new perspective. This isn't love. I realize I'm going to have to face the struggle to get my happily ever after. So I think they're going to 
break free, stop sacrificing themselves, stop holding on to this old idea, this old thought, this <laughs> loveless, passionless situation, whatever it is, that has been hurting them, and you know, I'm hitting the high road, not looking back. So, that's what we got here. Let me get one of these real quick for an advice. But, yeah, I'm not going to be taken advantage of. Somebody's been taken advantage of, you know, and it's like, no, I'm not going to be taken advantage of. I'd rather go my own way. It's like, there's a great big, there's so many options out there. There is. There's, that's what this, you know, there's so many options here. I gotta, I gotta do what's right for me. We have this person that is so stressed out that they don't know if they're coming or going. The demands are so high. There's, there, whatever. It's like there's so many people in their face. For somebody. I don't know why I'm flipping these. Fellow travelers, support is all around you. Be open to support and help from others. You don't need to do it alone. Sometimes that support comes from someone you least expect. If someone offers you help, accept it. Trust that your life is guided. Unseen spirit travelers are helping you. Know that you are so very loved in ways that you may not always directly experience. Sharing the journey means that there is support all around you. Blessings from above are showering over your life. You are safe. Angels and spirit guides are real. And their presence is near. They're only a thought away. They're messengers. They are messengers from the creator. And they come with immense blessings and love. All is well. Fellow travelers are guiding and supporting you and they love you deeply and profoundly. Be still and open your heart to their messages and healing. They will come to you in soft breezes, rainbows, and feathers that seem to magically appear. Sometimes they will come in the form of a stranger with a message. These signs let you know that you're going in the right direction and that all is unfolding is exactly as it should. Messengers from their creator come with immense blessings and love. Be open to receive love. You are a healing, loving force for others. And that's what we got here. Somebody is just taking the road. You are going in the right direction. Don't look back. Don't look back. You're going. Keep going. Keep going. You have support. Somebody is leaving. It's over. The worst is over. They're going to make that decision to, to just not look back. Good luck. I mean, that could be the, that could be it. The decision is made to not look back. I'm not going to sacrifice and waste my time another minute. There's so many options. Why would I want to look back? Good luck. 